So, I'm Jonathan Lee Bridges, and I've been attending the Kathleen Kane trial. I've been there every day, and you know, honestly, I've been respectful and observant, but no one in the courtroom even realizes that Jonathan Lee Bridges, the world's most litigate man, is sitting in the courtroom. The man that made a scene at the James Holmes trial, the man that went to Sandy Hook and posed as Adam Lanza's uncle, the man that is being accused of filing frivolous litigation all across the country, the man has filed over 5,000 lawsuits, and here I am attending the Kathleen Kane trial. And I'm actually showing support for Kathleen Kane because I went into court with an objective mind, knowing that I've been to numerous cases nationwide and observed and seen so much case law. I didn't know if she was guilty or innocent, but hearing the evidence that the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania has submitted, and uh, I know it's uh, basically a sham trial. It's uh, bogus. It's a lot of innuendo. Um, the only individual that was on that stand that has maybe any credibility whatsoever that they threw out there was uh, Josh Morrow. But as an you know, as a, a lawyer would could tell, and I could tell that the Commonwealth used a very uh, a tactic they use on most defendants in criminal cases when they have weak cases. They get the individual like Josh Merrill, get him, you know, uh, 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 when he's in front of the grand jury, get him to uh, 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 be held in contempt of court, and then the prosecution threatens him with more charges unless he testifies and lies. So now he turns and flips, which he did on Kathleen Kane. He has no credibility whatsoever. He had already admitted that he lied, so why wouldn't he be lying now? And he just gets immunity suddenly uh, 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 a week before the trial. Then you got the prosecution putting on a... a, a a witness from a from a case from 1999 or 1996. I mean, they're pretty much grasping at straw, uh, straws here at this case, and uh, I ultimately see acquittal. It's no, it, I wasn't surprised when the defense called no witnesses because you don't need to let the burden, let the Commonwealth uh, uh, show the burden of proof, which they have not. So hopefully the jury doesn't buy it. I don't buy it, and. Uh, you know, other people that's been observing. But people that don't really know how the scene is, they're saying, oh, well, Adrian King gave damaging evidence. Josh Morrow gave damaging evidence. And Bruce Beamer and all these guys. These guys provided nothing. You know, as being observed and sitting back and seeing, where's the smoking gun on Kathleen King? I don't even think she leaked grand jury documents, period. Maybe Adrian King did. But a reasonable jury can't see that uh, Kathleen Kane committed this crime. So she's ultimately going to be acquitted. And uh, I commend her for making uh, Pennsylvania more safe uh, um, and challenging the status quo and holding these judges and prosecutors count, uh, accountable in the state of Pennsylvania. It is a corrupt system within the Commonwealth courts or a, a mafia. Each county in the state of Pennsylvania has a, a, a mafia within and these people all have uh, conflicts of interest with each other and it's cronyism and stuff like that and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get uh, uh, it fixed and the uh, people in this country have a say. Well I'll be keeping attending the trial and I hopefully I'll attend the uh, Bill Cosby trial too. Peace out and be safe everyone.